Keep all your game as and lost, as and lost. It's all the same as and lost, as and lost. Happy holidays, everyone, or at least almost. Uh, this video is about the most important thing in hunting, and that is safety. Now, I will not go through uh, all these safety rules individually that us weapon owners and hunters have, but rather I will show a couple of clips where I think, I think the clips prove uh, the importance of all these rules and how to successfully uh, implement those rules into your hunting. Now, I do make mistakes in these videos, uh, but I think it's important for, for me to share because I have learned a lot from, from watching these. Uh, that is actually one of the first reasons why I started using a GoPro while hunting was to get feedback uh, <clears throat> from my own, own actions, uh, reactions, uh, things like that, and also to learn how to read my dog better. So it helped a lot watching after action uh, the clips and trying to find out how my dog Indy, Indy reacts and what things I do right, what things I do wrong. Okay, so this first clip uh, is two years back. Uh, we're moving in a in a row formation as we normally do. I'm in the middle. My mother is on the left, and and my father is on the right. We're about 20, 20 30 meters apart, and uh, then this happens. Okay, so now you might be wondering that uh, why I didn't take the shot. Uh, this has to do with with usually usually the the safety rule that is mentioned last, uh, checking the background of the target or or uh, however you want to put it. So this is where I would have taken the shot. The willow grouse is is. Uh, quite in the line of those two birches there. Some of you might have noticed a glimpse of on the background of my uh, my mother's uh, neon orange vest. Uh, at the time I did not notice that. Uh, the background seems to be clear but that's the point. I am not sure. I don't know where my mother is so she might as well be behind behind the target. Uh, and that is the lesson lesson here. I have always been taught that if you're uns unsure of the shot, the answer is obvious, then you don't take it. Something that bothers your mind about the shot, you don't take it. Uh, it's simple as that. The other one is, is situational awareness. And uh, at times we, we, we didn't have um, that type of safety clothing, neon orange type of safety clothing on. And what I found out that uh, I was using too much energy, too much of my concentration was going into uh, keeping aware or staying aware of, of where my buddies are, where, where the dog is. And after that, we, we decided to always wear something, be it a cap or a vest, something that is easily visible. And now that I uh, watched this season's footage from, from the back camera where you can, or I can, see better my, my uh, head movement it, it almost becomes automatic I don't even realize me watching or checking checking my buddies uh, because it's automatic and they're easily visible and just a question that if my mother wouldn't have been wearing uh, this type of safety clothing would you have been able to see her on on the film on the video that she's actually behind behind the danger or in the danger area probably not so I really recommend wearing uh, uh, visible clothing even though it might not be as cool uh, and of course this goes for especially hunting like we do like we're on the move we don't have a pointing dog and and the terrain is is quite varied with denser areas and whatnot but I think you get the idea Okay, then this uh, 
This next clip is actually again two years back. It's kind of the same, kind of different. Actually the same formation, I'm in the middle. My father's on, on my right side with Indy and my mom is on the left and we're kind of on a slope, moving on a slope. I'm in the middle and my dad is downhill. And then uh, this, this happens. Alright, so there was a lot of things going on there. 2.8 seconds uh, from the takeoff to the shot and a lot of thinking. A lot of things went through my mind and before we break it down any further I will uh, uh, kind of demonstrate uh, what went on in my head. So I was pointing, pointing towards my father and then I realized it's, there's a bird behind us. It's coming straight towards me, get ready. Get ready to shoot. There it is. Where is it gonna fly? It's turning to my left. Make the, de the decision not to fire. Hold. Wait until it passes my father. Check the barrel. Is it clear? Look for sky. Look for sky. Look for sky. I see sky. And bang. So, so that's pretty much what I was thinking at, at in those 2.8 seconds. Uh, at this point, my safety was off for sure. Took my weapon down, not to flag my father with the with the barrel, and then uh, I was thinking that when I see sky, I'm I'm for sure good to fire. Once I saw sky, I took I took the shot, and of course I missed naturally. How else would it, would this have ended? And then I got a, a malfunction on this Benelli as well. I think it's the only one I've had had with this this gun what makes the baseline of, of safe hunting it's situational awareness without good situational awareness uh, knowing where your buddies and your dog are uh, the rest pretty much th doesn't matter uh, because I knew where my father was I was able to to track the bird with, a, with my eye and lower the barrel not to flag my father once it was clear, I was able to take a safe shot. But if I wouldn't have had, like in the first one, I, I did not know where my mom was for sure. I think I flagged her. I'm not gonna start debating on, on whether I did or not. Probably did. So situational awareness is key, especially for us, because we're not able to set up the, the situation because uh, Indy is not a pointing dog. To sum up this, uh, I would stress the mental readiness of the hunter more than anything else. All the physical things and the weapon manipulation things are very important, but what it comes down to is once you see the bird and you make the decision not to fire or to fire, and the information you have in your head at that time, your situational awareness will either make the right call or the wrong call. And still it's easy if you just remember that if you don't have all the information needed to make the call so don't take the shot so I think that is key the mental readiness of the hunter uh, and his situational awareness I think that's it uh, happy holidays everyone <laughs>